In this quick video tutorial, we're going to talk about how you set up a connector for an Office 365 migration. Now, you need a source and target connector in every migration scenario, but in this specific video, we're going to talk about how you set up an Office 365 connector using CloudyWay's automatic connector setup. So you log into your project and click on Connectors and click New. Select your connector type. In this case, it's going to be Office 365. And we're going to choose source connector in this case. This is the tenant we are migrating out of. And maybe give it your source tenant name. And then choose which items you're going to migrate. In this case, we'll go ahead and say we will migrate mail, file, size, group, everything that can be migrated with the CloudyWay tools out of Office 365. We click Next. We choose the automatic connector configuration option. In this case, then we will plug in the email address or login name of a global admin of your Office 365 tenant. This global admin account cannot have multi-factor authentication turned on. It has to authenticate directly to Office 365. This is the case with any service account in any migration scenario with CloudyWay's tools. So while not all of the tools require a global admin account, the automatic connector configuration method requires a global admin account. And here's why. The next step you will take is click on Grant Admin Consent. And this will actually redirect you over to Office 365. CloudyWay has an application, an Azure application, that's designed to be used by the CloudyWay tools. We have it in our own Azure environment. All you need to do is log in as a global admin with your username and password and accept the usage of that Azure application in your tenant. And this is what it looks like. So in this case, Microsoft is telling you now that the CloudyWay source application wants to have this kind of access to your tenant. Be sure you know and understand what you're doing in this step, the access that you're granting to the CloudyWay tools. You click Accept. You get redirected back to the CloudyWay portal. And now you see your connector in the CloudyWay portal. Now notice this is a source connector. You have to follow the exact same steps for the target. And we'll say we're migrating mail, files, sites, and groups, and so on. So then you would select next and enter a global admin account in your target tenant here and follow those same steps.